Right, so I'm going to do a, a quick combo tutorial on the new Dark World stuff where you like loop the hands. Um, so yeah, I played this today. I'm not going to do a list. I'll do a list like later on. Uh, but basically just gone look at sand, he's list from Vegas. This is very similar to it. I'm just going to do a couple of test hands because there's some people who are out telling you the combo, but it's not really like that good and I wanted a more current up to date one. So let's go for starting hand. Right. The thing is that this step is really difficult because it, it goes with the way the dangers go. So like if the dangers is all in whatever way, it's you know it's a bit different. So here we'll start off with Nessie. Because uh, we wanted to try and resolve, so we'll do one to five, three. So hit snow, unbelievable. Draw a card. Snow search, oh my god, this hand's brutal. Um, snow search again to get her effect, search the field spell. Uh, activate the field spell. We're doing this in this order to thin the deck out for the dangers. Uh, pitch the snow. Draw a card, a 1, 2. So what this does is this discards itself out of the field spell. The field spell banishes a card from the grave to drop to drop one from hand to the grave, draw one. This, when it's banished, one time gets special on itself, so you get some nut. Um now Alua. Uh pitch the snake, it's not very good. Right, now we're now we're starting to get somewhere with the uh with the combos now. So now now we've got, um, we've had two searches, we need to start setting up the graphers and stuff in the grave now. Um, you don't really want to use this yet, and we've drawn this like quite early, which is which is not very good. That's not really what we want. Um, so yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit rough here, because you, re you don't want to draw this this early, um, unless you've got silver. Yeah, it's the thing with these decks, you sort of like have to make it up as you go along. I definitely could have played this better, it's almost impossible to play this deck perfect, really, really hard. Um, right, yeah, so we'll go Nessie. One, that is perfect. That's not a problem anymore. Uh, then effect this. This is such an awkward, awkward hand to play out. Uh, get some field spell. Probably have to get silver here. Um, then we'll go big foot. You always activate the worst danger first. Right, that's just Cerulee. So now, right, so the big foot summons, you draw, right? Cerulee then summons to your opponent's side of the field, and then its effect is it makes they make you discard one. So you pitch the silver and then they have to return two cards and then when the silver's pitched you get some of the silver. So now this is our field and this on the opponent's field. This is definitely doable. It's just really hard to do. Um, so I think the idea now is to just link off all these four into Saryuja and see if we can fix the hand. So Saryuja summons one, two, three, four, put back. So I'm resolving the Saryuja and I'm putting back uh, the Ascension because you don't want that now. I'm putting back. Cheap and messy, both still live. So I'm gonna put those back. I want to keep this as well. Yeah, I'll probably put back these three. So now they've already had two cards pitched in my hand. See, so yeah, I put those three back to the bottom. Uh, we haven't normal yet either, which is pretty good. So now we'll um, fire off the worst dangers on Nessie. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hits a Nessie. Two 
couple of options here. Progress with Jackal up gives us the option. Oh, I just realised it wasn't the message yet. It was a cheap card, but they used the Exorcid. Worst danger first, didn't know. Right, let's just say it was this one. I can't remember if it was or what. So, summons. Draw one. Nessie searches anyway. Uh, get the Jackal up. We'll go again. Worst danger. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hits the Jackal up again. Special this. Draw one. Oh, you know, it's on my jackal up effect. Oh, big foot. Oh, this needs to be in under like an extra month, so. Tagara's, Tagara's effect. I'm a batch of them, by the way. Um, <clears throat> pitch this effect of this. Switch the graph out. Now we can bounce this for this. And we can then. Use the Saryuja to special Zephros. Then we can make these two into B cop. Then, because these are both fiends, they can link into this, which when it's summoned bounces the cards is linked to to the hand, so you get this back to your hand. <coughs> Then you can Zephros back the field spell. You can activate the field spell. You can use, you can banish this in your grave. Pitch the Cerule, Cerule effect again. Um, doesn't matter what you summon this time. Pitch the Silver, Silver summons, rip another two, so they've actually, you've ripped four now. Um, then what you can do is you can start like, um, start just, so what I like to do is I like to make the Cerberus to pop it, just put them out of a lot of options. So make the Cerberus, um, pitch in the grapher, you get draw. Then obviously Rainbow bounces this, and then grapher bounces this. Then, There's your, oh, this is pop now, because it sort of popped it. That's your three map Appaloosa. So we ripped the four cards, now we're not going to rip any more. Now it's drawing until we get to the Ascension. So I'm Declan first. So we want the Ascension just to get the Omni as well as the Appaloosa. So many Silvers have been through. I haven't been through another Silver yet, so we'll start first. Beautiful trading. Draw two. This resolves. I don't need silver. What we're trying to get to is the ascension. Gates over gates. Banish this, or whatever. Pitch this, summon it. Rainbow. Oh, sorry, but you got draws. Rainbow, I want to summon it. 
uh, Alua. Silver trading. Oh, oh, sorry. This. Again, again. Uh, now, what you can do. So you can get all the gates. Then we can link those two off into something random. I don't even know what that does. Um, get effect, banish this, pitch this, draw one, effect this, bring it back, effect this, effect this. Six cards left. Don't want to use this then. Uh, Mothman. Oh, roll two dice, so that's five total. So one, two. And then this is the one here. See fusion symbol banishing from field. And you can pitch from hand. Then obviously the silver comes back, bounces like this. Then you can add this to your hand by discarding a dark hold. So yeah, um then there's a couple of things you can do here so you can uh, link up into Phoenix. And you can block board so there that's how you rip the cards in the hand so they'll have, they'll have two cards in the hand now and you'll have an omni for this um and then you'll have the apple loser for whatever else they've got and you've still got five and under and full field so that's just a, a quick idea of how it gets going obviously this is like 12 minutes to just a tutorial um there was a couple of decision points at the start but once you get going you can get through quite quickly but like I could do more of these type of hands, but they literally take like 12 minutes. So if I did like two or three, you could be there for like 40 minutes. So I was wondering, I'll start for this one, but get the general concept. So you can make Sariucha to get some draws. You can make Dakaras to get some draws. You can make this, which is a three level eight, comes up quite often. So if you have like two rainbow, uh, Two rainbow and then like a thunderbird or whatever you can make this and then this effect is literally the chapter to draw one if it's a monster reveal it burn 800 but you can do it three times so you literally go draw three so it takes pretty ridiculous it's pretty good um going second into boards as well um like i said give the actual deck much thought i'm going to give it some more thought soon though on the side i'm going to give it a lot more thought as well uh, but it's just exactly Sam and his deck list, apart from I didn't have a third trade in, so I used the upstart uh, instead. But yeah, uh, hopefully it's helped. You know, let me know if you want to do more.